South Africa unfortunately stands out globally as having one of the highest, if not the highest, youth unemployment rate. And probably the statistic that would shock you is that our statistician general has estimated that roughly 40% of this generation of young people will likely never work in their lifetime. Arambi's best description is our title. We are a youth employment accelerator, and that means we partner with government, we partner with business, we partner with young people, making the youth labor market work better, making the investment that's being spent by many people in workforce development and training and skills work better, and in the end, get young people into more pathways that are gonna generate income for themselves and for their families. The solution that became Harambi was a solution that would solve problems on the demand and the supply side, and therefore could gather momentum both with employers and with young people. So from the very outset, the thinking was, we are creating a labor market solution, not a project. We're trying to design this thing in a way that could scale and have impact at a population scale level and across the economy. And that meant that we could attract government into the process because rather than seeing it as a sort of project to be funded, they could see it as a solution to a challenge that government was trying to solve. Who's received marketing calls before? What I want to do now, <laughs> the first part of what we're going to do now, is I'm going to introduce you to, to some terminologies that are going to be useful for the calls that we are going to be listening to. At the moment, you've got a lot of young people trapped in urban areas, unable to access opportunities, unable to afford the cost of job search. They need to be networked, they need to be pathway managed, and at the same time, you've got to do what the private sector can't do by itself. You've got to catalyze opportunities in those economically depressed areas. And this is where Harambi and ourselves are entering quite new territory by actively working with firms that operate in our slum areas and creating pathways for those firms to evolve commercially and become local employers. We are actively combining economic development with youth workforce development and connecting the two in a more structured way. That's been missing historically. We started Harambi in a very traditional way, which was to say, how do you get a group of businesses to think differently about who they bring into their environment and how they bring them in. And so the idea was to say, could we create a network that allowed those businesses to find young people that were invisible to them? As a pathway manager, we use different tools to get data of what young people are really good at and find the hidden potential as opposed to just the qualifications, typical work experiences. So we then use different algorithms and teams that look at that data to match them and to give them a leg up on the opportunities that they would have never been visible for. Harambia has got a number of roles that it plays, one of which is as a labour market change agent and it has a, a huge ability to influence the way people access work and in our industry entry-level work has been a bit of constraint to growth and so over the years we've established a closer and closer relationship where Harambi's excluded youth as a skill pool into the BPO sector. You have absolutely no control over the customer's accent, you have no control over the customer's rate of speech, so you need to be equipped to handle that. What's been really interesting is that the speed to productivity of these learners coming out of Harambi has actually not been any different to the speed to productivity of, of experienced staff. In fact, they've been more willing to learn, to put in the extra time. It's been a fantastic story for us. Harambi prepares you. They teach you focus, they teach you how to channel your energy, what is it that you need to do when you get into a workplace. I do meet a lot of unemployed people. My best advice to them is go to Harambi. It gets you ready for the world of work. We're 
just trying to change a society. We're trying to change our country, and in doing that, we think, have something that we can say to the rest of the African continent and the rest of the world. Thank you.